Hi everyone, it's Nick. This is your March 2024 monthly reading. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I can't believe it's already March. Um, I feel like this year is just going by really, really fast, especially with like a baby who, by the way, is going to be turning nine months in March, which is crazy. Um, and speaking of babies, I will be taking a break from weeklies just for a few weeks, I think for this week's and the next week's, but you will have this March monthly. And then I'll probably come back with the March mid monthly and then uh, start the weeklies back up. There's so many changes going on in my life and with the baby and he's changing so much. Like he's still sleeping through the night, but he's now waking up at 4 a.m. instead of 5 a.m. So that's kind of an adjustment for me. And so I'm gonna give myself permission to sometimes take breaks just so I don't feel overwhelmed and can handle my number one duties right now, my role as like a mom and a wife. And that's just what I'm being called to put as more importance in my life right now. But I'm still gonna be here guys, so don't worry. I may not always post every week, every weekly, but I'm gonna try my best. So just make sure you're subscribed and you click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I do post, but I'll keep you guys up to date all the time or write up a community post, okay? All right, so we are covering your March monthly and we're going through each and every zodiac sign, starting with Pisces since we're in Pisces season, Whoop. and then ending off with Aquarius. All the timestamps we listed below, like usual, we're going to go over your positive affirmation, your message from the Mermaid Oracle since we're in honor of Pisces season, your animal spirit message, uh, your crystal, then your general message overview, your love message, what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you, and then your angel advice at the end. Okay, um, and I'll go over what's going on in the sky for the first half of March quickly in this video instead of posting as a separate one. And what else? Um, yeah, if you want to check out my poetry book, that is available on Amazon and that will be linked below. Okay, and what else? Thank you so much for your love and support and I hope you enjoy your reading and the video. Okay, so what's going on in the first half of March? All right, so... I just want to preface this by saying that we are going into March with um, Saturn being in Pisces already. And with that being said, as a Pisces myself, I just want to say that I feel like March or majority of March could feel like a very restrictive um, and karmic month for, for many people, but maybe on different levels. Some may feel it more than others. Some may not be affected at all, but I will say it may feel um, or bring up, you know, feelings of restriction and discipline or like responsibility or almost feels like reality is like kicking us in the butt. Reality is setting in and it doesn't have to be a bad thing because Saturn is fair. It will reward you if you're doing what you need to do. Obviously, if you're slacking and you're not being responsible, then you may have to suffer the consequences. But I just want to say that, especially if you're, if you're a Pisces or a Pisces somewhere in your chart, it may feel like a kind of restrictive, um, karmic month when you're kind of being put through the ringer and you have to face reality about certain things, which could be fun, not fun, or you have no choice. Okay. All right. So on March 3rd, or no, not March 3rd, March 9th, we have Mercury moving into Aries. So we're kind of starting almost the beginning of the month with like rapid fire thinking, okay? This is us thinking and communicating very fast, quick, like fire, not being afraid to speak what's on our mind or say what's on our mind, or we may have like a lot of thoughts that come in really fast. And when we are feeling the passion or feeling in the moment, we just may want to blurt it out, express it, you know, what you see is what you get. We may not be as indecisive or as like, ooh, like shy to say it. We'll just like want to speak it and say it and communicate it. So it will feel like blah, 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 blah. Like everything's just being like pop, 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 popcorn. Okay. Uh, speaking more, thinking more with passion, excitement. Uh, could also be more quick to anger, more quick to aggression as well, though. Then the next day on March 10th, we have a Pisces new moon, okay? So this Pisces new moon feels like we may have a new way of feeling when it comes to some kind of dream, imagination, creativity, um, something that we feel emotionally connected to. We may feel this new feeling um, and be wanting or dreaming of a way we can bring this into reality, 
okay? And we may actually start to put the work towards it or think of realistic ways, real practical ways we can make this real, bring it into our world, into life, okay? So you may have a new passion, a new love for something, person, place, or thing. Uh, you just may feel like you really want to do something, but this time you have maybe like, uh, you know that you have to be re reasonable, you have to be realistic in order to make this happen, okay? Um, then on the 11th of March, we have Venus moving into Pisces. So uh, we're going to feel more drawn towards people, places, things that are there's a deep emotional connection to that allows us to dream big, to have an imagination, creativity. Uh, there will be a lot more things. Uh, you'll be a lot more drawn towards like art, music, love, beautiful things, uh, nature, uh, all things Piscean pretty much maybe even be thinking more about your dreams and things that you want to manifest, things that you want to work on, okay? And um, also love. People may be more attracted towards love, especially because, you know, towards the end of March, we are entering spring. We're getting close to spring, so people get excited um, and are kind of looking forward to the months ahead. So it may just feel like people are starting to blossom and like, ah, oh, I can't wait for the sun to shine and come out, okay? Then on the 19th, we begin airy season. Airy season. So we shift out of mutable water Pisces into cardinal fire Aries. Springtime. It's like the new year, pretty much. For me, it's the new year. Um, so yeah, it, it, maybe the first half or like the um, till the 19th, it could feel like um, very watery, very soft flowing. Um, but also kind of like it, we're being cleansed in a way so that we can go into the springtime like, you know, like a brand new seed. Okay. All right. And then the second half of March, we will cover in the March mid monthly. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get started. Let's start with Pisces since we are in Pisces season. All right. So hi, my beautiful Pisces. How are you? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy birthday happy birthday to us. Let me know in the comments, when is your birthday? Maybe you'll find your birthday twin. My birthday is March 18th, March 18th. All right, so your first affirmation, my dear Pisces, is I am magical. I am magical. Yes, please practice saying this out loud. If you can, in the mornings you wake up and at night before you go to bed, I am magical. I have magic flowing through my veins. I live, breathe, speak magic, and everything that I dream and feel can become real, can come into existence. I am magic. All right, and then your second affirmation is coming from card number 28. So 28 or maybe the number uh, 10 could also be significant for you. And it says, I am grateful to be the soul to inhabit this magnificent body. I am grateful to be the soul to inhabit this magnificent body. Yes, your soul chose this body you're in, so own it and embrace it. Your mermaid oracle message is coming from card number 21. So 21 or the number three could be significant or mean something to you. And it's the mirror. It says, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. So Mar in March Pisces, I feel like you are really taking a closer look into yourself or maybe even not intentionally, but through others, through other people, through art, through music, through relationships, you may have a better understanding of you and how people see or like your impact or how you're seen or who you are as a person. So this could be a month when you start to reflect a lot and figure out who you really are, what you're made of, which, who you want to be who you've always been, um, maybe how you're shown or how you're showing up in the world, okay? And you want to be mindful too that um, there is always this mirror effect. So people are always mirroring back to you maybe what you are or the kind of energy you're putting out. All right, then as your animal spirit message, you guys got the chameleon. And the chameleon wants you to know, stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspic conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. So like the chameleon, maybe right now is a time when you need to just kind of like chill in the background, not do the most, not do anything crazy, but kind of just feel out the situation, feel at your environment until you feel like maybe you have a good grasp or until you feel like it's safe to like come out and do what you want to do. 
okay? Just know that this month, Pisces, member of Saturn is in Pisces right now. So I said this in the beginning, if you didn't hear when I was going over the astrology, that um, it could feel like March could feel, at least until um, maybe the 19th or the 20th, could feel kind of like a restrictive karmic time, especially for Pisces, okay? Uh, because Saturn kind of like restricts and holding us down to be responsible. It could feel like reality is kicking in or re reality may be like kind of kicking our butts, asking us to step up to do what we need to do. We can't just be like, la, la, la. We have to like actually bring things into reality. We have to take action, see where we're being delusional, where we're not being realistic. Um, and so maybe that's why the chameleon is here to tell you, hey, just hang out in the background until you know what you're doing. Don't just throw yourself off. Um, or put yourself through the ringer if you're not ready yet. Okay, that is your crystal. You guys got amethyst. And amethyst is associated with your third eye and your crown chakra. It reduces stress and anxiety. It's called the all healer of people, animals, and plants. Reduces migraines and headaches and reduces addictions and OCD. An affirmation associated with amethyst is I am calm, peaceful, and relaxed throughout my mind, body, and soul. I am calm, peaceful, and relaxed throughout my mind, body, and soul. So amethyst might be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in March. All right. So my dear Pisces, what's going on with all of us or with you guys in this month of March 2024? Okay, Pisces. So I'm seeing that this month is... Um, you're working through some emotions, some like kind of like lingering, stuck feeling emotions, but you're actually making something out of it. So you're, there's, uh, you're going to find some kind of like passion, some motivation, some spark through a feeling you've been going through, maybe in private, maybe with, without anyone knowing something you've been kind of experiencing feeling going through but you can kind of, you've been kind of keeping it to yourself behind closed doors and in, in private maybe it's something that's been bothering you or pain or heartbreak or you've just been feeling kind of like mm, like blah something's missing or um you need you you need a change in your life or you've just been feeling this way for so long and you don't want to feel this way anymore and so because you don't want to feel that way or you want something to change, it's motivating you motivating you to act. And um, you're going to change how you feel through this action, through this spark, through this uh, expressing yourself and maybe sharing it with others or finding some kind of way to put it into work. OK, so instead of you just being, you know, for example, maybe you're just bored at home. You, have, you don't know. You don't you don't have anything to do and you're feeling kind of uninspired, no creativity, no imagination. You're like, oh, what? I feel like I'm having writer's block or uh, I feel like I can't think straight or something's going on with me. Um, instead of just sitting there and being confused or being bored or uninspired, you're like, you know what? Let me just go outside. Let me go for a walk or let me go call my friend or let me go grab a coffee or whatever the case is, you're going to go do something about it. And as you go out and do something, you're going to get inspired. It's going to take, it's going to lead you to taking action and maybe relating that to others. So you may find someone who's dealing with the same thing you are or run into some friends or meet someone and then you inspire each other. But either way, whatever you're feeling that maybe is not so great or not something you want to experience or not something you want to go through, you're going to share that or you're going to be able to transmute it into something that is inspiring, into something that is beautiful. Um, like, you know, maybe uh, if you do music, maybe you are, uh, you put whatever you're feeling you're going through into a song and you sing about it or you dance about it or you write a book. And so you're able to relate that feeling to others who are going through the same thing. And so you're actually transmuting that energy of stuckness or feeling bored or feeling like something's missing in your life and actually do something about it. OK, so I do feel like out of something negative, out of something that you're feeling that it's not so great, not so fun, something good is going to come out of it as long as you uh, maybe change your perspective and you take action on it. And you will find that there's many others maybe who relate or are going through the same thing that you're going through or feeling what you're going through. OK, just kind of like in my poetry book, I went through a lot. I shared it and um it's something that I feel like I was able to transmute whatever memories or energies I was feeling into writing. And now it's like I freed myself from it. 
okay? Maybe it's like a creative outlet or something that uh, you accidentally just end up doing and it and it ends up kind of freeing you from whatever uh, you feel could be blocking you, okay? All right. Then as your love message, you guys got number five. So five could be an important number for you when it comes to love romance and it's wild card, wild card. All right. So Pisces, when it comes to your love life, there could be a wild card and uh, this could be anything. It could be something like, whoa, like I was not expecting that drama or something that's ple a pleasant surprise or something that's like, ooh. So I guess that's depends on your situation, but there could be a wild card. It doesn't have to be a bad thing, but could also be a good thing. Wild card. You guys let me know. Then what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I want to feel worthy of you. I want to feel worthy of you. So whoever this person is, whether they're in your life right now, or you haven't met this person, or maybe you are not talking to this person, uh, they want to feel worthy of you. So what does that mean? Maybe right now they feel like they have to work on themselves or they have to do certain things, make certain changes in order to feel like maybe they deserve to be with you or uh, they are worthy because they maybe view you to a high standard or they see you as someone who deserves the best and maybe they feel like they're not there yet, okay? But as long as they're willing put, to put in the work, that's all that matters. All right, then as your angel advice, you guys got see only love, see only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So see only love. Even in the darkest of times, even in the most, I don't know, crazy, evil people, you can see um, there's always something that uh, he some kind of healing light or love that you can see through or can get you past or get you through anything okay all right so pisces i hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful thank you so much for being here for watching hopefully i'll see you for your next reading and i'll be back with the weeklies um maybe in a few weeks or maybe sooner we'll see okay all right so happy birthday guys let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and um i'd love to hear your thoughts and i'll see you in your next video all right take care all right, now let's move on to Aries. Hi Aries, how are you? Hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, so Aries, your first affirmation is I am caring. I am caring. Yes, please practice saying this out loud. If you can, this morning you wake up and at night before you go to bed. I am caring and I'm a caring person and I care about the right things. I care about the things that matter and it's a good thing to care, right? Because if you don't care about anything in life, then why are you here? <laughs> So I care and it's not caring that's a bad thing it's sometimes caring about the things that are not so good for us that gets us into trouble your second affirmation is coming from card number 13 so 13 or the number four could be significant for you and it says everything I touch turns into gold and invites lasting abundance into my life everything I touch turns into gold and invites lasting abundance into my life beautiful your mermaid oracle message is coming from card number 29 so 29 or the number 11 could mean something to you and it's lemuria returns lemuria returns earthly spirituality community ocean conservation beautiful maybe there's fertility pregnancy children here for some of you or for someone that you know possibly um but it does feel like there is some sense of like uh, community or being together as one maybe with others maybe you're getting together with others or bringing a family together or you're getting together with family um, or it's like something's coming back to you or you are coming back to a person place or thing all right then as your animal spirit message you guys got kiwi and the kiwi wants you to know to do a walking meditation each day for the next week do a walking meditation each day for the next week so that means just go walk to the park, walk on a trail or walk wherever you have access to. And, you know, maybe don't wear headphones, don't listen to anything, just kind of walk, just be present, just look at nature. And even if it's just for, you know, 10 minutes or less, but do a little walking meditation, maybe say, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, or just, just be present and, you know, kind of uh, 
enjoy what's around you without feeling like you need to be distracted or entertained. All right, and then as your crystal, you guys got honey calcite, honey calcite, and it's associated with your solar plexus chakra. It increases feelings of self-worth, confidence, and courage, and helps one overcome all obstacles of life. Detoxifies and heals the kidneys, bladder, bowel, and even energy of the home. Increases physical, mental, and spiritual energetic growth. And an affirmation associated with honey calcite is I love and accept myself for who I am. I love and accept myself for who I am. So honey calcite could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in March. All right, my dear Aries, what's going on with you guys in March 2024? Okay, so Aries, it looks like here, the more you put yourself out there, the more you express, communicate, um, put out who you really are and you're authentic and true to you, the easier it will be for the right people to find you, to notice you, whether this is like friends, family, romantic partners. And I feel like here, maybe you're um, expressing yourself more within your community, at school, your you're where you work, your friend group, or you're kind of wanting to explore. Maybe you're trying to, you're trying to grow in some way, share, uh, socialize maybe, or share what your passions, your creativity, uh, maybe uh, network with work or something. And I feel like here that you're going to be communicating or maybe talking to another like-minded person, maybe someone who's in the same career field or into the same hobbies uh, or extracurricular activities as you. And you may make a new friend or you guys may start talking or communicating with each other. But I feel like here it all starts with you. If you put yourself out there, if you don't, you know, hold on to fear and you show up authentically, you people, the right people are going to be attracted to you, are going to find you, they're going to notice you and they're going to reach out to you. They're going to message you. They're going to uh, want to talk to you, contact you in some way, shape or form. And that's how you're going to attract the right people into your life. Okay. So um, it does look like there could be some maybe flirty or exciting messages exchange. It doesn't have to be love, but it can be maybe friends, work opportunities, uh, you know, inspiration, maybe a chance to do something you've been wanting to do. But there could be a chance here for a romantic connection as well. And it all stems from someone noticing you and seeing that maybe they're interested in the same things you are or how like real and authentic you are, your personality, that's what draws them in to you, okay? So I see you could be like uh, expressing yourself a lot more, being more involved in your city, your community, your, community, your environment, growing, um, feeling maybe more inspired, and then attracting people who want to contact you, who want to connect with you. Okay, so your friends, you may make new friends, you may make new connections, more work, and you're maybe uh, gaining momentum, and you seem to be more motiv more motivated, more inspired, have more imagination, okay? And there could be some flirty messages exchanged between, exchange between you and another person, and it could be a fire sign like yourself, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, and uh, this person could be younger than you, if not by age, maybe by experience level or may look or act younger, okay? And this could be someone who maybe is involved in music, uh, dancing, singing, plays an instrument maybe of some sort um, and could be born or have some connection, like born or have a connection with dragons, maybe born near the dragon or they love dragons um, or maybe has some Asian descent, okay? All right. Then as your love message, it's coming from card number 10. So 10 could be significant for you. And it says grief and sadness, grief and sadness. All right, so when it comes to love, um, it looks like here either you or maybe someone else is feeling sad, is mourning something, mourning a loss or missing someone. Maybe you're sad right now because you're single or you're not with someone or you're missing someone or maybe someone else is feeling that way about you, okay? But there could be some grief or sadness here, but it's something that you don't ever share. You kind of keep it to yourself. Um, and uh, it just feels like you're, maybe there is an ending or something has ended in some way, shape, or form, but something new may be coming up very soon as well. Then what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is my soul yearns for you. My soul yearns for you. 
All right, so whoever this person is, whether they're here or they're not, or in the future, this person's soul yearns for you. They miss you. Maybe they wish they could be with you or they wish they could see you. Um, maybe it's someone who's passed away and you just miss them. And um, they wish they could be with you or tell you so much more, but maybe they can't. So my condolences if, if this is someone who has passed away, but my soul yearns for you. Or maybe it's just someone who like they can't be with you right now. Maybe they're in another place, another country, um, and that makes it difficult. As your angel advice, you guys got new partner, new partner. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So new partner, maybe a new partner is on the horizon for you, or you're going to be meeting someone very new or making a new connection, even if, even if it's just a friendship, possibly. That could maybe lead to something else in the future. And I will say here too that if you had someone or maybe you're missing someone or you're kind of sad because of someone who passed away, maybe this person wants you to move on or they wish for you to move on with your life and be happy and find your happiness, okay? All right, Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Um, happy birthday as well. I know some of you may be March babies and have your birthdays at the end of March. So happy birthday. My mom is a March baby, March 26th. So um, once we get to your season, it'll be all about you. Okay, so Aries, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here for watching. I'll see you for your next reading. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll speak to you next time. All right, take care. All right, so now let's move on to Taurus. Hi Taurus, how are you guys? Hope you are doing lovely. So Taurus, your first affirmation is I am wise. I am wise, yes. Please practice saying this out loud. If you can, in the mornings you wake up and at night before you go to bed, I am wise, I am wise, and I'm becoming wiser every day through my experiences, through learning, through growing, connections. Um, failures, mistakes. I'm becoming wiser and learning from everything. So I am wise. Your second affirmation is coming from card number 46. So 46 or the number 10 maybe could mean something to you. And it says, I am me. I am accepted. I am appreciated. I am loved. Nice. So you can practice saying this out loud as well. All right, now as your message from the Mermaid Oracle in honor of Pisces season, you guys got card number 33. So 33 or uh, maybe the number six could be significant for you. Maybe some of you are life path 33. And it says experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge, arrogance. All right, so Taurus, it looks like maybe at this time or maybe in sometime in March, it's just going to be important you're aware, hopefully that you're not embodying this energy, but maybe someone around you or you're not put in a situation where you feel like just an experiment is being done on you or um, people forcing things onto you out of arrogance or uh, trying to do something just for the sake of like having the information or blackmail or um, tainting someone's name or ruining someone's, you know, um, uh, you know, their way of life just for the sake of having something or obtaining something. So uh, be aware of that, okay? Or any people who embody that kind of energy. Then as your animal spirit message, you guys got the mountain goat. And the mountain goat wants you to know that there's something out of balance in your life. So do whatever you need to correct it. There could be something out of balance in your life. So you may just need to do something doesn't have to be anything big, but to bring it back into balance. And you will probably know what that is. As your crystal, you guys got green calcite and it's associated with your heart chakra. It can aid in prevention and healing of infections, relieves anxiety, stress, and helps with coping, promotes calming of emotions, encourages forgiveness of self and others. And an affirmation associated with green calcite is I find pleasures in the simple joys of life. I find pleasures in the simple joys of life. So that could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in the month of March. All right, my dear Taurus. So what's going on with you guys, generally speaking, in March? 
Okay, so I see that some of you could have Leo maybe somewhere in your chart or maybe you're dealing with a Leo or an earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. But it doesn't have to be. It could just be the energy this person is embodying, playing out, or maybe be like a mixed match of one of those. Or this could just be you. But I feel like here that you're kind of slowly coming back to life. You're slowly finding your happiness again. And it's like little by little baby steps, step by step. But I feel like you're slowly kind of like the sun is starting to shine, the rainbow is starting to come out out of this like storm and cloudy dark time maybe that you were in or that you were feeling or going through. And you're finding your happiness slowly, little by little. You're coming out, um, playing with the grass, planting some seeds, growing some fruits, some veg vegetables, coming outside to play. Um, maybe you're feeling, you're going to start to feel better about yourself, going to start to feel more beautiful, more handsome, take better care of yourself. Maybe your financial situation is slowly going to start to get better and recover. Um, and I see you kind of taking the right steps in a real practical way that's going to bring you passion, bring you happiness. And I feel like anything that you went through, you're going to be healing from. You're, it's like you're reviving, you're being revived little by little. Okay, it's like you're giving me you're being given medicine, you're being given, um, you know, electrical charge, uh, warmth, sunshine, and you're being like you're rising again, you're re being revived. So you're finding your happiness again, my dear Torians. And I feel like this is a month when you waste get some more sunshine, um, take care of your appearance, do something with your hair, your uh, your makeup, your fashion, maybe buy outfits, spend time with children, with family, possibly. And I see you kind of just taking the steps towards like recovery or towards getting your life in order, getting your life back on track. Okay. And I just see you getting happy again or finding your happiness. And maybe there is someone coming into your life, or maybe it's someone that's in your life that's helping you that's holding your hand, that's telling you, I believe in you, you can do this, I'm here for you, don't worry, I have your back. And this person could be a Leo or maybe another earth sign like yourself. Um, so if this is not you, this could be someone else who maybe is really beautiful, really has a beautiful heart, beautiful soul. They believe in you, they trust in you, and they're working with you little by little to kind of bring you back to life or bring you more happiness. Or maybe just meeting this person or them coming into your life has kind of helped you find more meaning, more purpose again, okay? So really beautiful energy. I just see you kind of being like lifted and like almost like this little flower that was like almost like dying, but someone watered you, gave you some water, gave you some sunshine, um, you know, spoke good words into you and now you're slowly coming back to life again. And like, you may even start smiling more, laughing more and giggling a lot more. So I like this very, very beautiful energy for you guys. That is your love message. You guys got card number 17. So 17 or the number eight maybe could mean something to you in your love life. And it says ego. So someone here may be dealing with a big ego. If it's not you, it could be someone else. So ego is what could be getting in between maybe your love life or making it a little bit difficult or someone maybe dealing with a, you know, hyperinflated ego possibly. What someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I want to make things right. I want to make things right. So whoever this person is, um, maybe they know they've made some mistakes. Maybe they're aware that they could have let their ego get the best of them and they want to make things right or they want to make it better. Okay. And uh, this could be something they're thinking, feeling, or maybe may actually say to you, and that could bring you happiness. Then as your angel advice, you guys got opportunity to forgive, opportunity to forgive. Beautiful. So it says, this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So March may bring a time when you can forgive yourself, forgive others, and kind of move on with your life and be happy again. Okay, so I love that. I feel like by the end of the month, you will maybe start smiling a lot more and maybe be find more joy in your life. So I like that.
All right, so Taurus, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in your next reading. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I would love to hear your thoughts. And um, thank you so much for your love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, so now let's move on to Gemini's. Hi, Gemini's. The gems in my eyes. How are you? Hope you are doing amazing. My baby gem will be nine months in March, and it's crazy. Yeah, he's growing so fast. So, so fast. It's wild. All right. So your first affirmation, guys, is I am wealthy. I am wealthy. Yes. Please practice saying this out loud. I am wealthy. I attract wealth. I attract abundance. I attract all things that I want and that I need and have more than enough. And I have more, more than enough. And because of that, I, I have enough to share and um, to enjoy with all my family and friends. All right, your second affirmation is coming from card number six. So six could be an important number for you or mean something to you. And it says, I am worthy of the love I desire for myself and others. I am worthy of the love I desire for myself and others. Yes. Your mermaid oracle message in honor of Pisces season is coming from card number 31. So 31 or the number four could be significant for you or mean something to you. And it's Coral's Wisdom, Colony delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. All right, my dear Gemini. So in the month of March, I feel like you are working on something or realizing that there are some things that are going to take a little bit more time to do, but it's because there's a lot of detail that goes into it. There's a lot of little like tedious work that has to be done or has to be made in order to bring it all to life in order to make it complete. Okay, or maybe this is some parts of yourself that you didn't realize you had that you are bringing back together, like, you know, it's very fragile and you need to take your time and not rush it. Okay, beautiful. Your animal spirit message is coming from the spider and the spider wants you to know to trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. And by writing stories, this can be anything. It doesn't have to mean like you are literally writing books, but you can write a story through a song, through a dance, through a sculpture, uh, through a video, through anything. Um, you can tell a story in many different forms. So maybe there's some creative spark that you're been, you've been thinking about and you're like, mm, I don't know if I should do it. I don't know. Well, maybe this is your sign. Okay. All right. Then as your crystal, you guys got garnet. And garnet is associated with the heart chakra. It relieves depression, chaos, and emotional trauma. It aids in magical and spiritual devotion, encourages courage, creativity, and abundance, change, and awareness, and helps enhance sexuality, devotion, understanding, trust, and honesty, and can bring emotional balance. An affirmation associated with garnet is I love and create with trust and honesty. I love and create with trust and honesty. So garnet might be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in the month of March. Okay. All right. So my dear Gemini's, what is going on with you guys this month? All right. So Gemini's nice. It looks like something that you lost or maybe something that you thought was like gone and done forever is coming back or is, um, Something that you lost is being replaced. There could be a reconnection here. You may re-encounter or reconnect with maybe an old, a, a, a family member, a friend, a romantic partner, and someone that you've missed or you haven't seen in a long time. Maybe you thought you would never see them again, or maybe you thought you guys would never repair the relationship. But it looks like now you're able to find in your heart maybe to forgive, to reconnect, um, move forward, have more peace and harmony. So uh, you're going to find more peace, more harmony in your in your life this month and maybe feel more emotionally content and be able to pay attention to the right people, places, things. I also see here that maybe if you had lost a job or lost money or lost something that was valuable, that may be recompensated or you may find something to replace that and that will bring you a lot of satisfaction and contentment. Um, 
if you haven't seen a child, a family member, or like I said, maybe a romantic partner, you may get a chance to see them or maybe visit or something like that. But something that you lost, or maybe if you were feeling alone, lonely, you're not going to feel that way maybe by the end of March. You're going to have some kind of reconnection or something's going to make you feel connected. And it could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or maybe earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so something that you lost is coming back or if you felt alone, you're not going to feel and you're not going to you're not going to be alone anymore. Nice. And yeah, there could be a reconciliation of some sort. All right. And then as your love message is coming from card number four and it's sparks, sparks. So some sparks are coming back into your life. You're going to maybe be feeling more alive, feeling happy, feeling inspired, or feeling like, ah, like I have that spark back in my life, or I feel, I don't feel empty anymore. I don't feel lonely anymore. All right. And then what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I was in denial. I was in denial. All right. So whoever this person is, maybe it's probably someone you already know or someone from your past. May They may admit this to you, or at least they're thinking, feeling this, that they were in denial and they can't deny it any longer. Lastly, as your angel advice, it's about family. Beautiful. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. So my dear Gemini's family might be really important this month. Maybe it's just your immediate family or people who you just consider family, even if it's not blood related, but family or being in connection with someone else or others that are important to you probably will be the main energy for you this month and be very important. Okay. All right. So Gemini's, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right. So take care and I wish you guys all the best. See you next time. All right. So now let's move on to Cancers. All right. Hi, Cancers. How are you? Hope you guys are doing lovely. All right. So Cancers, if I can grab your stuff here. <laughs> Struggle was. Okay. Your first affirmation is I am loved. I am loved. Yes, please practice saying this out loud if you can the mornings you wake up and at night before we go to bed. I am loved. I am loved. I am appreciated and I am loved for who I am. So please practice saying this, especially if maybe you've been feeling the opposite. Maybe you haven't been feeling loved or you've been feeling rejected or neglected. Embody that feeling of like, oh, I already have it. I already feel loved and it feels amazing. Your second affirmation is coming from card number seven. So seven could be an important number for you. And it says, I rightfully create and set boundaries that protect and support my peace. I rightfully create, create and set boundaries that protect and support my peace. So that can be a great affirmation for you to practice as well. All right. Then as your um, mermaid oracle message in honor of Pisces season, um, it's card number 17. So 17 or the number eight could be significant for you or mean something to you. And it's farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. All right. So cancers, maybe this one speaks a little bit more to you guys, but I feel like here your message is to kind of let go of some feelings and emotions, or this month is about you releasing, saying, making peace with some feelings and emotions that you had in the past that you want to wash away, that you want to get rid of and um, kind of feel renewed and cleansed. Okay. So farewell, goodbye to old past emotions so that I can be refreshed or have, have clean waters. Your animal spirit message is coming from the cheetah. And the cheetah is here to remind you to get closer on your intention, stay focused, and move quickly to achieve your goal. Get clear on your intention, stay focused, and move quickly to achieve your goal. All right, so get moving like the cheetah. As your crystal, you guys got Larimar, and it's associated with the throat and your heart chakra. It aids in being able to see who you really are, can be healing for the hair and feet, set to aid in the release from addictions in the material world, and helps when dealing with guilt and aggression. 
An affirmation associated with Larimar is I am calm and embrace change. I am calm and embrace change. So Larimar could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in the month of March. And excuse me, let me take a little sip of water. I feel like my mouth is getting dry. Okay, much better. All right, so Cancers, what's going on with you guys this month? All right, so I do see some of you may have Pisces somewhere in your chart, um, or you're, you could be dealing with the Pisces, maybe also Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like here that you're going through some kind of hard journey or working really hard at something. Maybe it's your job, health, relationships, whatever the case is, duties, obligations. It just may feel like you're kind of going up this hill, this mountain, and it's a lot of work. You're feeling kind of tired, drained, exhausted. But it's like you're doing this voluntarily. You know that you have to do this or like maybe you feel like no one really understands it. No one gets why you're doing it or no one, this is like only your your path to climb and others, a lot of people may not understand why you're doing it. They may be saying, why are you going the hard way? Like there's, there's an easier path or why don't you take the elevator, the escalators? Why are you climbing all the steps? Like why are you making it harder for yourself? And you're, you don't even want to explain yourself because only you know why you're doing it this way. You have a certain purpose or your intuition is telling you this is how you need to do it. And others may not understand it, but that's okay. This is your path. And there's a lot of learning that's coming from this. So I feel like there's um, you're following your intuition. You're being guided to do something that's hard right now. And you may not even understand why you're putting yourself through this, but you know that it's for a higher purpose. It's it's for a meaning and you're you know that whatever wherever you get to at the end of this road at the end of this is going to be beneficial or is going to be the right thing for you so i feel like your intuition is really sharpened in the month of march you're in your fellow pisces your fellow water sign um environment so of course you're going to feel maybe a little more comfortable but remember saturn is in pisces right now so it's it could all all, it could be making a lot of us feel kind of restricted or like we're going through like a karmic time in some way, shape or form, you know, it doesn't, there's levels to it. It may not be for everybody, but your intuition is telling you certain things and you're, you're feeling things, you're sensing things, you're hearing things, maybe your psychic um, intuition and all that is kind of like speaking to you in deeper ways than ever before. And there's just certain things that you understand or you know on a deep level, but maybe others just won't get or you just know it's you don't need to explain yourself or you don't want them to know you're keeping this private so you're kind of going through like a hidden private battle behind the scenes or something that only you can understand no one really knows you're doing this or why you're doing this and it's it's a lot it's taking a toll maybe on your on your spirit and it's like very tiring very exhausting but you know that this is what you have to do there's no shortcuts here you either do this or you give up or um you don't get to your goal your destination okay so that's the kind of energy i'm getting for you guys doing something hard but you know that's just what you have to do and there's no other way around it there is no shortcuts um but you're kind of keeping it to yourself, like no one really knows, or it's kind of like a private thing, a personal thing for yourself. Okay. All right. It's kind of, I don't know why I'm getting that like a, um, Forrest Gump, um, energy, you know, when he like towards the end is like running around the world all over the place. And he didn't even know maybe why he started it. He just started running and running. And then he ran for, I don't know, two years, was it? And by the end of it, you just realize, okay, you know when it's time to stop or um, you may not understand why exactly you did it or why you're doing it, but you know there's a reason behind it and you're just trusting, you're being guided. It's like this, your, your, your spirit guides, God, your angels, whatever you, you know, believe in is like guiding you to do this, go on this path or choose the path of least resistance. You're, you're, instead of choosing the easy way out, you know that you have to do this harder path, but it's gonna like build character. It's gonna make you who you are. All right. Then, um, as your love message is coming for card number one, so one could be significant, and it says, "Know your worth. Know your worth. Me, myself, and I. Know your worth. So never settle. If someone doesn't understand your worth or can't respect you, respect your boundaries, respect your wishes, or give you just like, you know, basic respect and acknowledgement, um, then." 
you have to know when to set boundaries and respect yourself and know your worth and not let uh, people think you're just like everybody else. What someone is thinking, failure maybe wants to tell you is I know you are my soulmate. I know you are my soulmate. So maybe this is someone from the past, maybe this is someone from your present future, or um, um, you haven't met this person yet. So they could be from your future, but I know you are my soulmate. And I think when you meet this person, if you haven't already, you're they're going to make it very clear to you, or you're just going to know like, yeah, this is my soulmate. You're not, there's not going to be any like confusion about it. You just know because you're choosing each other. You're not um, waiting for some special sign. You are making the conscious choice to choose each other. Then as your angel advice, you guys got let your past go. Let your past go. The burden of carting your past around has made you weary. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and it's now gone. So this is your sign to let the past go. Whatever that is for you, maybe something you've been struggling with or something you know you need to let go of, this is your confirmation. Let it go. Let the wind carry it and take it far away. You don't need it anymore, okay? All right, so Cancers, hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you for your next reading. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I wish you guys all the best. All right, take care. All right, so now let's move on to Leos. All right, hi, Leos. How are you guys? Hope you're doing lovely. All right, so Leos, if I can grab your stuff here. Okay, so your first affirmation is I am powerful. I am powerful. Yes, please practice saying this out loud. If you can, the mornings you wake up and a night before you go to bed, I am powerful. I am more powerful than I give myself credit. And every day I'm adding fuel. I'm adding more power to myself, to my body, mind, soul, spirit. I am powerful. And I'm capable of so much more than I believe at times. Your second affirmation is coming from card number four. So four could be significant or mean something to you. And it says, I attract success and new opportunities effortlessly. I attract success and new opportunities effortlessly. Beautiful. So please practice saying this. Your mermaid oracle message in honor of Pisces season is coming from card number 30. So 30 or the number three could be important or mean something to you. And it's telep uh, telepathy, nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. All right, so you may have go through some telepathic communication this month, maybe with another person, um, or you're just, you're going to be better at reading into things, reading into people, situations, maybe seeing their body language, hand gestures, or you're just kind of like, you'll just know, you're like, okay, I get it. Yeah, like maybe with you and your friends or your family member or your partner, you're just like, okay, like you didn't even have to say anything. You just like knew and um, you know, you know what to do moving at next. Or like maybe you get a message from someone and you were just thinking about them or you were just going to send them a message. You're like, whoa, that's kind of creepy. Or like, man, I was just thinking about you. I was just talking to you and then they call you or something. All right. Then as your animal spirit message, you guys got the camel. And the camel is here to remind you to trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. Trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. The camel. All right. Your crystal is bumblebee jasper. Bumblebee jasper. It's associated with your sacral and solar plexus chakra, increases physical vitality, helps fight off infections, promotes acceptance of change, new opportunities, and transformation, and helps to increase self-esteem, decision-making, and can enhance creativity, confidence, and honesty. And an affirmation associated with Jumblebee, Jumblebee, Bumblebee Jasper is, I easily accept and work with the changes on my journey. I easily accept and work with the changes on my journey. All right, so Bumblebee Jasper could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in the month of March. All right, guys. So what's going on, my dear Leos, for you? Okay, so Leos, um, I am seeing that some of you could have um, maybe air in your chart, like the Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, maybe also water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you're dealing with an air sign or water sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inner Venus, or maybe just the energy overall. 
So I feel like this month you are, you could be receiving some insight, some information, um, some uh, conversation, uh, idea that is going to make you want to cut something out um, or get rid of something, or it can lead you to actually want to just distract yourself because um, you don't really want to deal with it at that moment. So I feel like here that you maybe are like you want to get rid of something or maybe you could want to clean something up or um, get rid, uh, like let go of something, but it's maybe a little bit harder than it seems or it's probably like easier said than done kind of, kind of situation or you're kind of confused whether you should or you shouldn't. Like you want to, but like, mm, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. Um, and it's because maybe you actually enjoy this thing or you want or you don't want to exactly let it go. So there could be communication between you and another person that's a little bit foggy. It's a little bit like confusing or maybe someone's giving you mixed feelings or mixed responses. And you're just like, what's going on? Or like, okay. Like, so instead of like, confronting them instead of like calling them out and saying what do you mean by that or like hello are you going to respond to me or like what's going on you may either actually like confront them and want to like get clarity and get answers or you may just distract yourself and be like oh you know what whatever I don't want to stress myself out I'm just going to go distract myself with something or like not think about it but then you don't get answers you don't get clarity you're just left in limbo so some of you, some people may actually actually call someone out and be like, what's going on? Like, why are you confusing me? Like, what? I don't get it. Or you just may cut someone off, you know, like stop talking to someone or block them or whatever. Or the other half, some other people may just like be like, I don't even want to give it energy. I'm just going to like ignore it. And you distract yourself with doing something else, but you don't gain the clarity. You don't get your answers and you're kind of left just like, okay, um, and so that also doesn't feel as that great as well. Um, and it just feels like maybe you are dealing with someone or maybe you within yourself, something that is distracting you or is making it hard for you to be or to feel or think clearly. And if someone is giving you, if someone is making you feel confused or is not being direct with you, Nine times out of ten, it's probably because they are confused. They don't know what they're feeling or they don't, they're not giving you clear, a clear answer because they don't have a clear answer. And maybe they know that um, they don't want to be put in the spot because they are avoiding it or they're, um, they don't want to take responsibility and they just want to live life YOLO and, um, you know, just kind of have fun and go through things but not actually be serious or take action but I think you want a response or you want to feel like you know where you know where you stand maybe with someone but right now you don't know where you stand there's confusion and like feelings and sometimes maybe you give someone here like the benefit of the doubt or you're trying to understand them or you're like no let me just give them time or like I don't know but the more you do that maybe the more you kind of cause yourself suffering so you may either try to stand up, set some boundaries, get some clarity, or cut someone off, or you just may end up distracting yourself because you almost like don't even want to know the answer because um, it could, it may be something that you don't want to hear. But I will say that if you speak up, it can actually free you, whether it's something you wanted to hear or not. At least then you have an answer and you're not like in limbo and in the unknown, you know. All right. Um, and then as your love message, what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you, or I'm sorry, your love message overall is card number 44. So 44 could mean something to you or the number eight. And it's synchronicity. Synchronicity, some of you maybe could see a feather or a feather could be uh, a sign, but there could be some synchronicity or something that you find or that you see. Maybe this is a synchronicity for you, 44 or the feather, and you're like, ah, okay. And what's more important, what's most important when a synchronicity happens is seeing, okay, what was I doing in that moment? What was I thinking? Who was I talking to? What was I feeling? And that can give you a better gauge as to like what this sign or what that synchronicity meant for you. Cause it doesn't mean the same thing for everybody. All right. And 
what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I don't know how to express myself. I don't know how to express myself. Yes, and that is the frustration I think you have with this person. So they don't know how to express themselves. So then that they lack communication or their communication is a little like, what? Like, what did you say? What did you mean by that? And you're always left like wondering, like, what do they mean? I don't get it. Or why do they say that? And this person just doesn't know how to communicate well. They don't know how to express themselves. But I think you're going to have to like pull it out of them or at least like have a conversation or confront them. Otherwise, you're just like confused and in limbo and no one wants to be in, no one wants to be in that situation, right? All right, then as your angel advice, you guys got release and surrender. Release and surrender. All right, so we shower you with blessings uh, um, of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Release and surrender. So maybe that's a sign or a confirmation, however that resonates for you, release and surrender. All right, so Leos, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. I appreciate your love and support. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and hopefully I'll see you for your next reading and I wish you guys all the best. All right, take care. All right. Whew. <laughs> Okay, so now let's move on to Virgos. All right, hi Virgos, how are you? Hope you guys are doing lovely. Okay, so Virgos, your first affirmation is I am abundant. I am abundant. Yes, please practice saying this out loud. If you can, in the mornings you wake up and at night before you go to bed, I am abundant. I attract abundance and everything that I need, I have in abundance. Your second affirmation is coming from card number 52. So 52 or the number seven could mean something to you. And it says, my soul is a lighthouse that will help others find their way. My soul is a lighthouse that will help others find their way. That's beautiful. All right, and then as your mermaid oracle message in honor of Pisces season, your this is coming from card number 19. So 19 or the number 10 could be significant for you. And it says Atlantis, rapid development, excellence, success. Nice, so you have something that's gonna be um, happening very fast maybe this month for you. You may come into a lot of success, monetary gain, wealth, opportunity, uh, growth, okay? I see here a lot of great things that are happening, happening, developing, and success maybe coming to you very, very soon or happening right now. Beautiful. Your animal spirit message is coming from the elk. And elk wants you to know to stand tall, maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. Stand tall, maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. Beautiful. All right, then as your crystal, you guys got smoky quartz. It's associated with your uh, root chakra. It's an amazing grounding stone, which allows you to become more present. It reduces stress and anxiety in your body, is a spiritual band-aid to any painful emotional wounds, releases negative thoughts associated with fear, jealousy, and anger. And an affirmation associated with smoky quartz is I am grounded, which allows me to be present at all times. I am grounded, which allows me to be present at all times. So smoky quartz might be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in March. All right. So what's going on with all of you guys, my dear Virgos, in March? Okay, so March may be a very emotional month. I hate to break it to you. Um, it doesn't have to be all bad, but I do feel like you may be in your feelings. You may be in your emotions. And I know some of you are probably biting your tongue like, no, why? But I feel like here you may be invested um, or you may be emotionally connected or invested in like love something too much that maybe is not good for you or you you can't have you almost like love something that you can't have or that you lost or that it's like you can't really make it work but that's why it's killing you it's like we always love what we can't have right we always want what we can't have or don't have access to 
and you're sad. So you may be sad because you love something, a person, place, or thing so much, but for whatever reason, you can't be with them, you can't see them, you can't have this thing, you can't enjoy this, or it's gone away or something happened, You uh, there's some kind of change here. Your emotions, your feelings are changing right now, but you're sad and you're in your feelings because you want something you can't have, but it's like you want it so bad. And maybe for the time you did have it or you did get to enjoy it, it was like, oh, heaven on earth. It was the best thing ever. But right now, it's like you can't have it for whatever reason or it's not working out or you lost something that you really loved. And if it is a person, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or just the energy overall it doesn't have to actually be a person or it could be any other sign. Um, this could also be something within yourself, okay? Um, like you loving something so much, but like you almost feel like you can't express it or you don't know how to express it, but it's like a deep part within you or something that you were emotionally connected to, okay? It could be a job, something with your health, a hobby, friendship, family member, and uh, it's like you can't fix this or you feel like you have no control over it and it's killing you or it's like eating away at you but you're just like you're just very sad about it and um and I think it's because you you feel like you don't have control or there's nothing you can do about it or it's like hard to express this or it's hard to um get over it and make peace with it so you love something you can't have or um maybe it was like almost there or it like almost happened but it just quite didn't happen and I feel like here you you felt like you had what it took or like you have what it takes or you have so much love in your heart to give and it's almost like a waste you feel like or you didn't get a chance or it was almost there it just didn't happen or like something happened and you feel like um it almost just like wasn't fair or something was taken away from you or maybe this could be something like someone passed away and you're just remembering that or a friend or family member or something you hear and that is just like you know really getting to you so i'm sorry if that is something that happened to you or someone has passed away in your life deep condolences i know that takes time hopefully that's not the case for everybody but this is life that does happen but nonetheless it's an emotional month. You're going through a lot of feelings and a lot of deep feelings, but I feel like it's better to have, lo to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. And I feel like here it makes you realize how human you are, that you do have this like deep ability to love something or someone so much in your heart that you can feel the pain, you can feel the loss of it emotionally um, when it's no longer there or you can't share it or have that person. But yeah, it does suck and it's something that's very hard to deal with when you love something, person, place, or thing so much, but you just can't have it. And um, this may be the month where you have to kind of like make peace with it, let it out, express it, heal in whatever way you can, um, or put that love that you were putting into that person, place, or thing, pet, whatever, back into yourself in some way and you can heal from that, okay? What's um, as your love message is coming from card number 22. So 22 or the number four could mean something to you. And it says deja vu, deja vu. So maybe a song, a CD, something you hear, watch, play, see, could give you deja vu this month or remind you maybe of something or someone may say that something reminded them of you possibly. Could be a song, music related possibly. What someone is thinking, feeling, and maybe wants to tell you is I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling stuck. So whoever this person is, maybe just like you, they're feeling stuck in their feelings and emotions or there's something, you know, they can't really get sort through or they're in like a weird situation. It's complicated. It's difficult. Um, and maybe they're struggling just as much as you are. All right. Then as your angel advice, you guys got assertiveness, assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love as you as you requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. So assertiveness is needed at this time. You being assertive, asserting yourself, knowing what you want, 
how to present yourself, what you're expressing, and needing to stand up for what you want, what you believe in, or at least make it known. Okay? All right. So, my dear Virgos, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you for your next reading and your uh, weeklies, monthlies, and monthlies. Thank you so much for your love and support. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. Maybe someone else could relate. And I'll see you for your next reading. All right. Take care. All right. So now let's move on to Libra. All right. Hi, Libras. How are you? Hope you guys are doing lovely. Okay. So Libras, your first affirmation is I'm spiritually connected. I am spiritually connected. Yes. Please practice saying this out loud. If you can, in the mornings you wake up and at night before you go to bed, I am spiritually connected. I'm connected to higher dimensions to God, angels, universe, whatever you believe in. And my spirit is constantly growing, evolving, expanding. And um, I know what I need to do. I'm being guided in the right direction. Your second affirmation is coming from card number 23. So 23 or the number five could mean something to you or be significant. And it says, I am safe. I am held. I am safe. I am held. All right, then as your mermaid oracle message um, in honor of Pisces season, it's coming from card number 40. So 40 or the number four could be significant for you. And it says yearning, longing for someone, undesired separation, pinning. All right, so some of you or someone that you're dealing with here is dealing with missing you or you're missing someone like you can't be with or there's a separation or there's a breakup or you haven't seen someone and it's uh, very difficult maybe for you or for the other person or both of you. All right. As your animal spirit message, you guys got the gorilla and the gorilla is here to remind you to take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. So take the time to listen, pay attention to what your family, friends, people you care about are telling you. Your animal spirit message, oh, I'm sorry, your crystal is a black moonstone, black moonstone, and it's associated with the root and crown chakra, helps balance, uh, balance hormonal balances as a stone of new beginnings, strengthens intuition, and balances feminine energy. And an affirmation associated with a black moonstone is I now allow new beginnings to arise with ease and love. I now allow new beginnings to arise with ease and love. So black moonstone could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in March. All right, let's, uh, what's going on with all of you guys, my dear Libras? So I do see some of you could definitely have Pisces, Taurus, um, maybe even um, be a double Libra um, or be dealing with one of those signs. Libra, Taurus, Pisces, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inner Venus, or just the energy overall, okay? So what's going on here? Um, I'm feeling the energy of like a rose. Um, you know that saying or that quote, a rose that that grew from concrete? Um, and right now it's like you're this beautiful rose and you're growing and you're so, you know, magnificent, but maybe you don't feel like it you don't feel like you are that right now because your environment maybe isn't very nourishing for you it doesn't support you it doesn't support your growth and you're kind of feeling stuck you feel like you're this like you have this potential or like you want more but whatever is around you or the people places things around you maybe you can't do it or don't notice you or don't see the beauty that you have within you um and I feel like some of you are very fertile right now, like not just fertile, like with like uh, as far as pregnancy and babies, although maybe that can be for some of you. So congrats if that's the case or be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant. Um, but I feel like you're very fertile for like creation, for beauty, for imagination, for something that you want to do, but maybe you don't feel supported or you feel like your environment, people around you, like with that, with like it doesn't support it. Like you can't do it. You have to get out or you have to do something different. And you're kind of in your feelings this month um, because you want to grow and you want more, but maybe you're not sure how to go about it or which, which direction to go to. 
I do feel here that there could be a connection or an important relationship with a mother figure in your life or like an aunt, a grandmother or stepmother um, or someone who's like a mother figure in your life possibly, maybe healing that relationship or um, connecting with that person. Um, I do also see here like your um, you getting more comfortable or accepting yourself um, and embracing your own inner beauty, your internal beauty, but also your external beauty and realizing that you are special, that you are beautiful, your beautiful light, beautiful heart, beautiful soul, and not letting other people or in your environment put you down or make you feel like you're less than. And I feel like you're kind of stuck on something or you're waiting for something or you're waiting for someone. Maybe some of you want to have children or you want to have kids, but you feel like it's not the right time or you haven't found the right person possibly. Um, or you're afraid to tell someone maybe that you want kids or you're afraid to tell someone that you're pregnant or someone here maybe possibly. Um, but you're in your feelings about something and you almost feel kind of like stuck or like you can't fully grow. You can't like be who you want to be and you don't know how to get out of or you don't know how to get out or how to like fix the situation for whatever the case whatever the case is like you're this like hidden gem this hidden diamond but you're like in the wrong area you need to be in a different place or you need to be around different people so that you can actually blossom and be who you've always wanted to be okay um there's this like sense of like sadness too that um, you almost feel like you're uh, losing your chance or you're losing this opportunity to like um, grow or blossom in the way that you want to and you feel like time is ticking but you're not sure what to do or like how to get out and you're kind of like waiting on something or you're just like this month it could just feel like you're waiting or you're like soaking in some feeling and emotion and um, you're just hoping for like change or you want something to change but you're trying to figure out like what you can actually do to make it change. Um, as your love message, it's card number 37. So 37 or the number 10 could mean something to you. And it says trapped, trapped. All right, so when it comes to your love life, some of you here are feeling trapped. You're feeling locked in. You're feeling like maybe um, you can't get out. Uh, maybe someone or in a relationship or in what you think love should be or society's expectations or your family friends expectations on you whatever the case is it's like you can't get out of something but i feel like there is always a way out and if there's a lock there's a key you just got to find the key so that you can release yourself you're never trapped you're never stuck in something forever don't feel like you have to be in a relationship you don't want to be in or you're not happy in or you don't have to stay anywhere you can change you can change your life so don't ever feel like it's over um, but there's some either some kind of energy that's making you feel like you can't get out and you like um, are unhappy about it. What someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I'm working on balancing my energy. I'm working on balancing my energy. So whoever this person is, maybe it's from your past, present, or future, they're trying to work on themselves right now. Maybe their energy has been up and down, has been all over the place, and maybe they're trying to make some improvements, hopefully for the better, okay? Lastly, as your angel advice, you guys got listen. Listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. All right. So universe, God, your angels, they just want you to kind of quiet your mind right now. Listen, and you'll receive the answers. You will receive the messages, maybe the confirmation that you've been waiting on or that you will need to actually move forward and, you know, take action or do the change that you need. All right. So Libras, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Hopefully I'll see you for your next reading in your weeklies, monthlies, mid-monthlies. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I would love to hear your thoughts and I wish you guys all the best and I'll see you next time. All right, take care. All right, um, now let's move on to Scorpios. All right, hi Scorpios, how are you? Hope you guys are doing good. So your first affirmation, Scorpios, is I am successful. 
I am successful. Yes, please practice saying this out loud if you can in the mornings you wake up and at night before you go to bed. I am successful. I attract success and I am success. Your second affirmation is coming from card number 27. So 27 or the number nine could be significant for you or mean something to you. And it says, I honor the beauty of stillness. I honor the beauty of stillness. You don't always have to go fast, fast, fast and do a bunch of things at once. You can slow down and be still and that is just as productive. Your uh, mermaid oracle message in honor of Pisces season is coming from card number five. So five could be significant or mean something to you. And it's the song of the siren, the call, the summoning voice to acknowledge. So at this time, um, you may be you may be being called to express yourself, to sing your song, or to receive a message, and you're going to know it by hearing it, um, by answering, or by speaking up and saying what you need to say and express it, okay? So sing your song or know when uh, your message is trying to be um, relayed to you so that you can actually have the ears to listen and to pay attention and receive it. All right, that is your animal spirit message. You guys got the cardinal. Beautiful, that's our state bird here. And the cardinal wants you to know that the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium, my dears, okay? So it could be that like, you know, maybe you feel you feel one way spiritually, but then physically you have to do something that hinders your spiritual growth or um, there's some physical things in life you have to do that doesn't resonate with your spirit. And so you got to find some kind of balance there. Obviously, um, you can't just like fully just be spiritual and forget this world and like you know we all got bills to pay and stuff like that but it's about finding a good balance so you don't let one totally control you and get you out of whack so you'll know what that is for you and maybe if you see a cardinal that's your sign that maybe you're doing too much of one and you need to kind of have a good balance of each all right then as your crystal you guys got golden healer golden healer and it's associated with the solar plexus chakra it brings success in a business or other ventures brings joy and abundance uh, i'm sorry brings health and abundance into the home by spreading happiness and joy increases sense of self-worth self-confidence and self-love cleanses and enhances all the organs of the body and an affirmation associated with golden healer is my life is filled with positivity and abundance my life is filled with positivity and abundance so golden healer could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in march all right my dear scorpios so what is going on here with you guys all right so some of you could have capricorn um, or water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inner Venus, or maybe just the energy overall, or you may have one of those in your chart. So um, I think kind of like what we saw earlier about your spiritual um, growth or your spiritual side being kind of out of balance with the physical world right now. Um, I feel like you have some desires that are controlling you at this time or uh, making you do things or question things or overdo, maybe obsess over stuff that maybe is not that good for you, like love, you know, love uh, of a person or, uh, you know, doing too much of something, become addicted, becoming addicted, attached, obsessed. And so it leads you into doing things that maybe you shouldn't do. It's kind of out of balance. It's too much. And, um, when you let your desires control you, you're out of control. You're not in control of yourself. And so you do things that you maybe usually wouldn't do if that wasn't the case. And so right now it looks like um, either you or someone else may be like very obsessed with you or maybe wants to control you or you want to control someone else, uh, whatever the case is. And um, it's maybe not coming out of bad intention though. Maybe it's coming from a good place, but the way the way it's being done or the reason why it's being done, it's not that great. 
um, and you can't control someone, right? You can't you can't get someone to do what you want to do. Um, it's just not going to work. You you could try man manipulation and bribery, whatever, but in the end, it's not really the right way to do things. I feel like here you care about someone or you may love someone or vice versa. Someone loves or cares about you, um, but maybe they're kind of too controlling or very obsessive or um, they maybe are too, you know, uh, into work and titles, uh, success and, you know, impressing people or, you know, showing off or doing things that maybe it is not exactly up your alley or vice versa. And I feel like here, there's a lot of temptations. There's temptations, um, indulging, indulging too much, um, or someone wanting to control the other person or being a little too obsessed or um, not letting the other, not letting things unfold naturally, okay? And, um, you know, if it's not you, it's probably the other person who maybe is just trying to control you. But and it, again, it may not be coming from a bad place. Maybe they they just don't they don't know they're actually acting this way, but it's coming out in that way. So, and I do feel this person, if this is someone else, they could be younger than you, if not by age, maybe by experience level, and um, they may actually really like you, have a connection with you emotionally, but they're so obsessed with you or so like um, they just want to have full access control. Maybe they're like you know, they desire you so much and they want full access and they want to know everything you're doing, who you're with. And they think it's not a bad thing, but it is because it's like, it's coming out of fear, insecurity, or feeling like they might not have you or someone may take you away from them or, you know, something like that. And so, uh, I feel like here that there's like an unhealthy kind of like toxic situation that could maybe be unfolding if, not handled or nipped in the butt early and i'm not saying someone here is a bad person no but it's just sometimes love can make you do things that you would normally wouldn't do right and that's when you know it's not healthy or you're going down the wrong path so if it's not you it could be someone else and anything that's too obsessive too controlling doesn't let you be free sometimes you got a question you know, is this the right thing? Maybe I need to pull it back. Maybe we need to like reassess, talk, okay? All right. Um, or maybe it's like a toxic person that won't leave you alone and is always coming into your life or and you're just like, oh, you can't get rid of them or you can't stop connecting with them or entertaining them. They just tempt you, something like that. All right, and then as your love message, you guys got card number 28, so 28 or the number 10 could mean something to you when it comes to your love life and it says unfinished business unfinished business all right so there's some unfinished business between you and someone else here <laughs> what someone is thinking feeling or maybe wants to tell you is i want to communicate with you but it's not time yet i want to communicate with you but it's not time yet so whatever that means i want to communicate with you but it's not time yet so when is the time? I don't know, but this person eventually might may communicate with you, but I guess that just goes to show they are thinking about you. They do know they need to communicate. They're just waiting for the right time. When's the right time? We don't know. I guess they'll decide when. Lastly, as your angel advice, you guys got wedding. Interesting. All right, so your angels are saying marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith and love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. So I think here, this is probably a reminder, like if you actually want to be married or if you want to be in like a serious long-term relationship, you can't entertain toxic relationships or you can't entertain people who like can't see past surface level desires. Um, or treat you in the way that you want to be treated. If you actually want something like this, that's pure, loving, and um, from a good place, you got to get past these like obsessive, dark, manipulative, controlling um, kind of relationships, okay? Or at least try to transmute it so you guys can fall into this healthier, loving relationship or find someone that's more like that, okay? All right, so 
Scorpios, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you for your next reading in your weeklies, monthlies, and monthlies. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts or maybe someone else could relate. All right, so I'll see you in your next video and talk to you soon. All right, Ooh, my hips hurt, oh my gosh. All right, so now let's move on to Sagittarius. All right, hi Sagittarius, how are you? Hope you guys are doing lovely. All right, so your first affirmation, guys, is I am hope. I am hope. Yes, please practice saying this out loud if you can in the morning to wake up and at night before I go to bed. I am hope. I am hopeful and I give hope to others and I am hopeful that everything that I want, everything that I desire will happen or I will try my best. Your second affirmation is coming from card number 26. So 26 or the number eight could be significant or mean something to you. And it says, I give myself grace when I make mistakes and veer off my divine path. I give myself grace when I make mistakes and veer off my divine path. Nice. Don't be too hard on yourself. We all make mistakes. We're human. Your mermaid oracle message in honor of Pisces season is coming from card number 23. So 23 or the number five could be significant or mean something to you. And it says dreams, vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. So this is a dreamy month for you. Your dream, you may literally have lots of dreams, um, profound dreams, and it may speak to you, resonate with you, and you want to pay attention to them. Maybe write them down or so you can remember and maybe it'll like give you some kind of special message or maybe you're just going to be dreaming a lot of like your plans for the future, etc. Okay? Your animal spirit message is coming from the cat and the cat is here to remind you that it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. And this doesn't have to be mean like, you know, dependency meaning financially or, you know, because you may be like, what do you mean? I'm independent. I don't depend on anyone. But maybe it's like, you know, dependence on like emotions or for uh, to feel good about yourself or insecurity or whatever. Like it could be in many different ways. Okay. All right. Then as your crystal, you guys got Lemurian. And Lemurian is associated with your crown chakra. It improves the quality of life, it is an incredibly healing stone for the physical body after surgery or trauma, helps those who struggle with PTSD, reduces pain, and boosts your immune system. And an affirmation associated with Lemurian is I am connected to a divine source of information. I'm connected to a divine source of information. So a Lemurian could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in March. All right, my dear Staggies, so what's going on with you guys this month? All right, so some of you could have Cancer or Aries somewhere in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with a Cancer or Aries person in your life, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, um, or just the energies overall. Okay, guys, so it looks like here you're um, wearing your heart on your sleeve this month, and you're pushing forward with a lot of confidence and um moving forward with something that you're kind of emotionally charged up uh charged up about and you're like you feel really strongly about this and it's gonna make make you want to assert yourself and take lead it's like you want to lead the way maybe you are like the older sibling maybe you're like the head of your household and you're just like you want to make you want to be the example you want to set the standard you're like i want to call the shots i can do this or like i gotta be the example i gotta lead this family i gotta you know, get us on track or get us to a better place. You could be fixing, healing some family issues, maybe going to visit family, friends, more so family. You could also be changing or doing something with a car, a vehicle, buying a car vehicle, getting something fixed, um, enhanced. Um, and I just feel like you're really bossing up. You're really bossing up, taking ownership, leadership, asserting yourself in your life, especially amongst friends or like your immediate family. And it feels like you're overseen. It's like you almost feel like you got to be in charge. You got to like take lead because if you don't, you almost feel like everything falls apart or it just won't be done right. So you're like, no, I have to do it. If not, it just it's not going to happen. And I got to like make it happen for everybody. So you may feel responsible for more for everyone or for more people, but you feel more than capable to handle it. You almost feel like you're the only one that can handle it and can do it all. And you're feeling confident in how you and you're feeling confident to do it and move forward and um i think you're going to do it in the right way so you actually have your head in the right place 
I feel like there's a lot of good energies actually on your side if you focus on the right areas and assert yourself and take action. Um, your emotions seem to be in a good place overall and I feel like if you focus and you don't distract yourself, you will get everything done that you need to get done, okay? Um, I would say this seems like maybe an important month for you as far as like um, knowing your goals, knowing what you need to do, your task, and getting it done, taking action, and trusting your intuition, trusting that like urge, that feeling that you're getting, and not letting anything deter you, okay? So moving forward with confidence, um, taking leadership, um, being able, owning everything that you have and knowing that you have what it takes to get everything done. And you may be more responsible for more things this month or feel like you have to kind of set the tone, set the standard, take care of everyone or um, make sure everything is kind of in order. Okay. Um, and I do also see maybe an Aries or like a father figure could be an example in your life or a mentor or someone who's kind of helping guide you or maybe wants the best for you and you maybe take after them or you kind of look up to them for inspiration all right then as your love message you guys got card number 46 um oh and also if you're dealing with someone i feel like this person may be very uh um, confident with you like they make it very loud and clear that they're into you that they're interested in you and they seem to be straightforward like what you see is what you get and things could be moving in the right direction hopefully as your love message you guys got card number 46 so 46 or the number 10 could be significant and it says interference interference so something is um causing uh, the water to to move a little bit right now so um i see this as like um, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, but I feel like there's something emotionally uh, causing both of you to like notice or um, to take a look or know that something needs to, um, we need to do something or we need to act now or like about like action, okay? Uh, what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is trust in me, trust in me trust in me so maybe it almost feel like this person could be kind of like pushing your buttons or like kind of like you know uh, testing you or seeing how you react but they want you to trust in them because they feel like this is for the best so i actually in this case say that you probably can trust them and if there is any inter inter interference it's for a purpose or like they're they know that this is gonna like take you guys to the next level okay so maybe they are kind of like um pushing your buttons in a way because they want you to be prepared for what's to come. All right, and then as your angel advice, you guys got change in direction, change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. All right, so change is in the air, my dears. So whether it's something you asked or you didn't ask changes in the air and if you didn't hear what i said earlier with my astrology breakdown for the first time of march saturn is in pisces so us being in pisces season it could just generally feel obviously there's levels to it not everyone will feel this as much as others but it could feel like a kind of restrictive karmic month um up until maybe the 19th 20th for many people in a certain way so take that with a grain of salt and just know that if you feel like oh, some resistance or things going on, that could be part of the reason, okay? All right, so my dear Sagittarians, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here for watching. Thanks for your love and support. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you in your next video. All right, take care. All right, let me get some water. All right, so now let's move on to Capricorn. All right, <coughs> hi Capricorns. <coughs> Hope you guys are doing good. All right, so Capricorns, your first affirmation is I am lucky. I am lucky, yes. Please practice saying this out loud. If you can, in the mornings you wake up and at night before you go to bed. Before you go to bed. I am lucky, I create my luck. I create my luck, my, my luck and my fortune and it's in and all around me. I am lucky. 
Your second affirmation is coming from card number 30. So 30 or the number three can be significant for you. And it says, I don't empower my fears, I overcome them. I don't empower my fears, I overcome them. I like this one. I overcome them, nice. Because fears only have power if you give it power. If you give it a lot of attention, you think about it night and day, but otherwise it won't. So you can overcome them. All right, then um, as your mermaid oracle message in honor of Pisces season, it's coming from card number 10. So 10 could be significant for you or mean something to you. And it says, honor the masculine, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. All right, so my dear Capricorns, honor the masculine um, and honor, again, not even just other people, but the honor, the inner masculine within yourself because we all have masculine feminine, whether, whether you're male, female, don't matter. You got to honor your masculine side and assert yourself and use reason, use intellect. And uh, with Saturn being in Pisces this month, I think it's really important that we bring, uh, we are realistic about our dreams, our goals, realistic about our emotions, what things we need to actually invest in ourselves in and what doesn't need, what we don't need to feel emotionally connected to. And um, I think this is a really important one. So honor the masculine, um, honor the, you know, other people, the masculines within other people, but also within yourself and know when it's time to like assert yourself to um, take action and um, take direction as well and guidance. All right. Then as your animal spirit message, it's coming from the blue heron. And the blue heron wants you to know to make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Nice. Lucky bird. We see here all the time. <laughs> all right. Your crystal is petrified wood. Petrified wood. It's associated with the root and sacral chakra. It's perfect. It's a perfect grounding stone. Good for anyone who, who may be feeling stuck, promotes balance and aids in the foundation for new goals or changing your path. And it's great for calming scattered energies. And an affirmation associated with petrified wood is I embrace transformation. I embrace transformation. So petrified wood could be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in the month of March. All right, guys, so what's going on here? Um, my dear Capricorns. So for March of 2024, I feel like here that you can receive a unknown message, an unknown call, a package, something in the mail, and you don't know where it came from. You don't know who sent it to you, where, who, who called you, who left you that message. It, but it's actually something positive. It's like maybe a very nice message or a heartwarming gift or a compliment or like, you know, just feels like, man, who like, who sent me this? Like, this is nice. Or this was like a pleasant surprise or very unexpected. And it could be from a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, maybe this is someone you know, someone you don't know, maybe an admirer, a crush, okay? Uh, this person could very well be younger than you, if not by age, maybe by experience. Um, I feel like here that uh, this person could really like you or be connected to you, or this is just someone who uh, connects with you. Maybe they like your work, they appreciate you, and they wanted to show appreciation, show some compassion. So you may receive a message, a call, um, a package from an unknown sender, but it, I think it's because they just didn't want credit. They just wanted to give it to you out of like the goodness of their heart. They didn't want um, um, any credit for it at all. They just wanted you to enjoy it or they just wanted you to be happy. So um, it's going to feel kind of like out of the blue or maybe like it came out of nowhere. So be aware. Maybe it's like a text message, a call, a package, uh, flowers. You know, someone sends you something or gives you something. You're like, whoa, what? Like, where did this come from? This is just like out of the blue. Or why wouldn't they say who they are? Maybe they want to be left a mystery. Okay. So a mysterious message, a mysterious maybe like happy note or compliment or review or referral of some sort. Um and it could just feel really heartwarming though. I think it's actually something very positive and you may not understand it or it could just be that like you know where it's coming from but you don't know like 
where did it come from? Like, why did this person do this? Or why did they send this? And you just don't know. They felt like doing it or they felt like doing that nice gesture. Like someone just may do something nice for you that they didn't have to do. And you're like, why did this person do it? And that is a mystery for you. Okay. But maybe it was just like, you know, good karma coming from the universe, God, your angels, whatever you believe in. So pay it forward. If someone does do something very kind for you or nice for, nice for you that was unnecessary out of the blue, pay it forward and try to pass it on and do something nice for someone else. Okay. Um, and I do see here, yeah, it could be an admirer, it could be romantic, doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be romantic or someone who may be interested in you or just wants to show appreciation in some way, shape or form. All right. Okay. Then as your love message is coming from card number 19. So 19 or the number 10 could be significant for you. And it says fate, fate, fated encounters. Something is fate this month, or it just feels like it was meant to be. It was written in the stars, as they say. What someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I'm fighting for us. I'm fighting for us. So whoever this person is, whether they're in your life right now, or you haven't met this person yet, they're fighting for you. They're fighting to be in your life, or they're going to fight to make it work between the two of you. If maybe there's something going on or it's hard for you guys to come together or they're trying their best to make it work and happen okay then as your angel advice you guys got child cute so your angels say you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love all children including your own inner child require love affection and attention we can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you so children or a child may be very important or play an important role for you this month or maybe it's like just your inner child or you could also have an, an actual child in your life that is very important because it's also speaking to your inner child and helping you heal your own wounds okay all right so capricorns hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful thank you so much for being here for watching hopefully i'll see you for your next reading let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys i'd love to hear your thoughts and i wish you guys all the best all right take care <laughs> all right so last but not least let's move on to aquarius all right hi aquarius how are you guys hope you guys are doing lovely okay so aquarius your first affirmation is i am in love I am in love. Yes, please practice saying this out loud. If you can, the mornings you wake up and a night before you go to bed, I am in love. I'm in love. I love my life. I love my dog. I love my partner. I love my future partner. Whatever the case is, I am in love. Speak it into existence. Then your second affirmation is coming from card number 36. So 36 or the number nine could be significant or mean something to you. And it says, I am a radiant being of love light and joy. I'm a radiant being of lo light, love, and joy. Beautiful. Your mermaid oracle message in honor of Pisces season is coming from card number 12. So 12 or the number three could be significant or mean something to you. And it's the present gift, treasure, revela revelation of own value, nowness. So the present moment is a gift. And I think it's something that we need to always remember and cherish. And I will say having a baby is the one thing, like one of the greatest things that I can say about having a baby is that it forces you to be present. And I've never been more present in my life than I am now, which sometimes is like not by choice. It's like very hard. It's a lot of hard work, but um, it also just makes me appreciate just like day to day and not worry too much about tomorrow. Yesterday, you just like got to roll with it. But anyways, I'm diverting now. The present. So the present moment. Enjoy your present moment. Um, try not to think too much about the past, the future. And um, I guess like be be more in... Um, enjoy what's right in front of you instead of what's like not even in your life or what's whatever happened in the past. Okay? Your animal spirit message is coming from the chimpanzee. And the chimpanzee is here to remind you to use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question. Use your intuition and both your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question. All right, so you don't wanna just use your intuition or just use logic, intellect. You wanna combine the both, 
and use it too. Your uh, crystal is black tourmaline and it's associated with the root chakra. It's a very grounding stone, protects you from EMFs, removes the negative energy from the body and home, encourages cooperation and optimism, and an affirmation associated with black tourmaline is I am protected on all levels. I am protected on all levels. So black tourmaline might be a great crystal for you guys to check out or look into in March. All right, my dear Aquarians, what is going on with you guys, generally speaking? in the month of March. All right, so uh, two is repeated twice for you guys. So I feel like uh, two could be an important number or mean something to you, but it also could be the uh, idea of like duality and you and how you relate to someone else or to others. Um, you could be spending a lot of time with someone else, whether it's like a friend, family member, romantic partner, whatever the case is, but you're kind of indecisive. You may be stuck between um, your heart, your mind, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, kind of feeling in limbo, indecisive, bouncing between your pros and cons. So maybe you are spending some time, a time with someone new, you just met someone, you're connecting, um, and you like this person, you're relating to them, but for some reason, it's like you're, you're kind of still not sure about it, or you're like, mm, I don't know, should I invest myself? Does this make sense? You may be overthinking it, to be honest. You, I think you're overthinking it, and it could be taken away from your emotional connection with this person. Whoever you're dealing with, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or maybe Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. But doesn't have to be, could be any sign. And um, I think it's like your you may be thinking you have to be like one way or the other, but you don't just like we saw earlier, you can blend both. You can have a little bit of both. You don't have to be just like, oh, all heart and intuition or just all your mind and intellect. You can do a little bit of both, but just don't overthink it or think too hard about it because it shouldn't be that hard. It should just like be something you naturally, you know, organically get into. But this could be a friendship, relationship, romantic partner that you're connecting with. Um, but maybe there's some difference, like, and it could be that you connect with this person emotionally. So there's like emotions and you vibe with them. And when you're hanging out with them, it's good. But maybe there's another side to it where you feel like, uh, the reality of the situation, like maybe, oh, their job or, uh, their financial situation or where they live or like the logistics of things. That's where you're like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if this is practical. Does it make sense? And that's where it's getting maybe a little bit tricky, uh, because it's like you're, it takes away from like the, I guess the genuine connection when you start to think of all these like logistics and other things, or maybe you're dating other people, maybe you're interested in other people. And so you're not sure if you want to fully give up the single life um, for this one person to, uh, to just be with them, or you're just trying to like be very cautious and weigh out your pros and cons and um, figure out where you stand. But I would just be careful of like, you know, being in limbo and making someone feel like they're not important or like they're just an option when you're genuinely connecting with this person, okay? But I do feel like you could be kind of stuck between, uh, do I fully connect, do I not? I do like them, but I don't know, like you could be having doubts or not sure if this is like the right decision for you. But I think you just need to not, not over, don't overthink it too much. Just kind of go with it, see how it feels. Um, cause overthinking it sometimes can like ruin, just ruin the experience in itself. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. So as your love message, it's coming from card number 12. So 12 or the number three could be significant for you. And it says quality time, quality time. So I think right now you just need to focus on experiencing, hanging out, and maybe just spending more, um, I'm sorry, I thought I saw a hawk attacking the bird or something. I was like, whoa, because the other day, well, not the other day, a few weeks ago, um, when we were walking down the path, we actually, like, right above us saw a hawk go in and try to get a dove. Luckily, the dove escaped, but it was, like, crazy. I'd never had that happen. It was, like, right above us. I was like, whoa, <laughs> crazy. Anyways, I digress. So, quality time. Right now, I think if you spend quality time, um, 
maybe spend more quality time with this person, you'll know exactly what you need to do. I think you probably just haven't spent enough time yet to fully know what's the right decision or what makes sense to you. So just spend a little bit more time and you will kind of get the vibe or you'll understand, okay, yeah, I want to keep seeing this person or no, I don't want to, you know? But you got to give it enough time to develop. You won't know right away. Then um, what someone is thinking, feeling, or maybe wants to tell you is I'm going through a spiritual transformation. I'm going through a spiritual transformation. So whoever this person is, whether they're in your life right now, or maybe it's this person right now or in the future, they're going through a lot of changes right now spiritually. And um, that can be, they can be facing challenges or it can just be a little bit hard for them. But maybe this is something that they're going to say to you or that they've already said to you, but they're feeling and going through right now. Okay. Then lastly, as your angel advice, you guys got life purpose, life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. Okay. I think this is a really good one. I really like it. I'm gonna read it again. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to others to great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon ser just serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. Beautiful. All right. So my dear Aquarians, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. I feel like there's like so much birds going around. It's like a little distracting, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Hopefully I'll see you for your next reading and your weeklies, monthlies, and the monthlies. Like I said earlier, I might be taking a break from a few weeklies, but then I'll come back probably for uh, the mid-monthly or something, but it may be sooner than later. We'll see. Okay, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or what's going on with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I wish you guys all the best. Thank you for your love and support and I'll see you next time. Take care.